Hello and welcome to Good Clean Gaming. I'm your host, Jill Today we're playing more Crusader Kings 2. Trying to get the Empire back under control. Since since this guy took over, I mean, the, the father was such a good character. He had so many good stats and everything. And I think uh, he really kept things together. But the son has been absolutely horrible. He has the title The Holy. I don't know why. He is slow. He has horrible stats. He's craven. He's content. He's just all kinds of bad, bad. And so I can't, I really can't wait for his son or somebody, anybody to take over. This has been just horrible. Anywho, we're continuing on. We're going to try to take the Duchy of Thrace back. It's, I, we just, I just realized that I don't have it. I'm also going to be, what am I going to be doing? I have no idea what I'm going to be doing. Looking around at some of the things here. I can't believe I can't press a, um, a de jure claim. I feel like I should be able to press that to get that barony back. Oh well. We'll get it figured out eventually. Maybe once all these rebellions stop happening. 58.6% moral authority is awesome. Failed in, I didn't realize there were Inquisitions. Failed Inquisition is on the list. 86%. Come on, finish it off. People are... I just love the fact that they're actually... People are actually telling me they're converting places again. That was absent for a long time. Things are going to start looking better, hopefully. Oh, peace offer. Enforce claims? No. He's going to try to offer a white peace. I'm not going to let him. Because I'm taking your stuff away from you. Invite plots? No. I can imprison this guy. Why would I want to imprison you? I don't know why. Probably for no reason. Uh, Count. Uh, he, uh, so Pope's still converting people. So good job, Pope. Ninety-one percent should be one one or two more sieges should do it. Hopefully, you know, probably could go take care of this army up here, and it probably would just end. One hundred percent done. Offer peace. Yes. Thank you can't banish you. We can release you. We don't want to demand religious conversion. We can demand that he convert. Sure. It'll release him, but that'll be okay. At least we'll have one, one more person uh, doing that. He really hates me, though. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Duchy of Thrace. Why, uh, wait, hold on. He still has the Duchy of Thrace. I was supposed to be able to revoke that. I should have did that while he was in prison. I didn't do it. That was, that was a silly mistake. Okay, so I revoked that from him. He also has the Duchy of Molau, Moldau, and I'll let him keep that because I don't care. For now, I'll fix it later. Educating someone. Um, special actions. Dangerous Factions, 83.4%. I bet one of those is the guy I just released. <laughs> Whoops. Bad choice. Lower Crown Authority. Why do they keep wanting the Lower Crown Authority? Let's check on our prisoners. I want to see our oldest prisoners released so I at least get money out of them before they become, you know, before they pass away. One of them already passed away. I guess in their mid-50s, I probably should release them. Um, 
what are we going to be doing here? We're trying to get... Can we get a claim on a barony? I don't know if that's even possible. I've never actually tried to claim a barony before. So I, I'm kind of at a loss as to how to do it. I guess we could get a claimant and go to war for that claimant. That probably is going to be the fastest way. Let's do that. Invite him to court. Invite him to court. Um, we could now technically push our claim if we wanted to. But we need to actually have him as a vassal. Wait, we can't declaim more. Oh, uh, we, we don't. Oh, we have raised levies, that's why. Um, we'd have to give something away in order to get him on our side. Her. Nikaya, Nicomedia, no. Prusa? Prusa, no. That's one of the ones we want to keep. Bari? Let's give away one of these over here. I'm, I'm kind of tired of handling this stuff. So let's give away Bari to him. Just so we can get that whole thing fixed over there. Hopefully we'll get the... I, I don't know if we'll get the... Uh, see, that's this is what's so confusing. is He's a baron. And this is why I'm, I'm so confused. I've never had to deal with this before. He's a duke. He has vassals. So if we take this barony from him, he's just going to take another barony from someone else. So why can't I just usurp this? Cannot usurp the sole primary title off a ruler of another religion who still holds land within it. Okay, so, and we can't revoke it because we're not direct vassal. So if I look at the, the, uh, so this is the map. He owns these two. And I want to look at his vassals. Got to do the complex Crusader Kings 2 math. Um, this guy owns a city way over there. This guy owns that. This guy owns that. And then this guy owns that. So I think since this is the last de jure part that he owns, if I seize this from him, suddenly I can seize the duchy. I think that's the way it works. Complicated, right? Um, so we have weak claim, duchy of Savoy, county, bar we need to get that barony. Um, which means we need to go back to the guy we asked to join us. Which is this guy, who is now we're now his liege. We can grant him a landed title of Bari. Include lower titles. Now he's a count, and he works for us. So if I understand properly, I can drop my levies. There's my retinues. How many troops? This guy doesn't have many troops, does he? The guy that's that's in control of this. He only has uh, 729 troops, and they're spread out. So I'm just going to park my retinues right on top of his, right on top of his uh, barony. And I'm going to take it away from him. Educate child. You go. Okay, now I think I can declare war on him. Right click, declare war. County claim, sure. There we go, done. Call allies, call allies. Important decisions, no. Of course, he'll answer my uh, call to war. We should be able to take this down pretty quickly. We're gaining a lot of money, but we just don't have a whole lot of money to spend. We It would be really nice to get a big stockpile of cash and build up our retinues and just relax for, I don't know, a couple decades. <laughs> it has been a tough, tough couple of episodes. I mean, you, you've, if you've watched them, you've seen what I'm talking about. Whew. Um, what else can we do? Expose him immediately, sure. It's always good to expose people immediately, unless you don't want to. And if you don't want to, it won't let you, because you only have the one button. Lower Crown Authority is gaining steam again. Why does everyone want a Lower Crown Authority? Because it's very unpopular, that's why. 
Still trying to get papal investiture going. I don't know why it's blank here. I feel like that's a bug. Okay. Still trying to convert up there, huh? Okay. What's his chance of converting? The Pope's chance of converting a province is 10%. So it takes 10 years to convert each province. That's why it's so important to get your uh, moral authority up. Because if you don't, they end up changing away faster than you can convert them over. His moral authority is 61%. It keeps getting better. So we're, we're, go we're moving in the right direction. At least we have that. He has a lot of piety. That's probably the reason. But he's going to pass away soon. His heir. How does his heir look? His heir has lower learning. Pretty good piety. Thousand. Yeah, that'll be good. He's 54. So. He's converting pretty fast right now. But yeah, he's going to pass away soon. Population of Thraki has been converted. Excellent work, whoever did that. Thank you very much. Thraki is now converted. Sweet. Don't tell me we've got to conquer each one of his areas. Another peasant revolt. Thank you so much for that. Two more peasant revolts. <sighs> Let me look at this for a second. I must be missing something with these peasant revolts. Uh, that one's already going down, so we don't have to worry about that one. Hopefully. This one up here is the troublemaker. Is there a modifier, revolt risk, different culture group, different religion? See, that that's exactly what's causing me all this issue, all these problems, is because we have a different culture and a different religion, and we're ruling over these people, and they're, try they're like, well, no. No, you're not. They don't like it. So if we, if we can keep converting them... It'll be better, but it, that won't solve the culture issue. Honestly, we, sh we should just go Greek. That would probably solve most, most of our issues. What would it take for us to go Greek? Probably have to educate one of our children and, you know, have them change culture on an education, um, education event. Probably be the fastest way to do it. I don't know of a faster way. New steward. Money. That puts you in the right place. Money. There we go. Lollard Heresy in Smyrna. Someone's hiring men to attack me. So, yeah, let's turn up our retinue. Um, retinue uh, replenishment thingy. Since we got a year to get ready for that. Maybe two years. Two years to get ready for that. That's usually the, no the amount of time. Yep. There's the, there's the revolt over there, so hopefully someone can take take care of that for me. The one up there, I'm going to take care of myself. Whew. Ugh. Eventful. Eventful stuff. Wish there was a fast forward button so we could get through some of these wars faster. I'm going, I've got the speed maxed out right now. I really just want to uh, convert culture now. Um, it's too much of a headache having to deal with all of these problems with, have, with being a different culture. A visitor event. A visitor, you have received a visitor, a monk from a famous great abbey in Cluny. Oh yeah, this is, this is the one where you know you pay them gold and you get prestige and piety. Hmm. Don't really need any. Yeah, I'm not going to pay gold. Gold's too valuable for me right now. Look at, look at, uh, our gold's actually 
keeping up with the uh, retinues, which is surprising. Still don't have enough money, huh? Pope. She's of legal age. Uh, uh, marry her to someone matrilinearly. Hmm. No one really useful. How about stats wise? Anyone stats wise? This is my nephew. This is my nephew. Uh, courtier, steward. Yeah, we're just gonna have to marry her normal normally to someone. How about French count? No. Dutch? No. French? No. <laughs> uh, so fun. Um, yeah, let's go with the Constantinos up here. It's fine. We sieged another area. He's 59%. What's it going to take for you to uh, to stop fighting? Maybe if I just attack your troop, will I get a whole bunch of percentage that I shouldn't actually have earned? 64%. He's got one over here. He's got one over here. I guess I might as well get on the boats and go take some of his stuff away. No, I don't need all those boats. Just need these boats. You know, for a bad king, for a bad emperor, this guy's got eight thousand prestige. Proposal of marriage? No, I don't accept other rulers' proposals of marriage generally. Can't get on the boats. Can't get on the boats like that either. Get on the boat. Get on the boat. So uh, yeah, I, I just needed to combine the combine the boats, and then it'll work. Uh, we'll land over here and just take down that army immediately upon landing. Much longer till that adventure shows up. Another year, one more year. Yep. So he's gonna be, he's gonna have a lot of troops with him. I bet. He's gonna be over in Constantinople. Yep. He's gonna arrive in Constantinople. Ugh. We gotta be ready for him. Double ugh. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and get our troops ready now, and we're just gonna sit them on top of Constantinople. Just ready for him to show up. So get them all selected. We'll have them all march there because, you know, why not? And uh, we'll leave this guy over here for now with the boots. Hopefully in a year they can most, most of them can make it around to that, uh, that city. Defeats are fine. Converted to the Catholic faith. Cool. Cool beans. I don't feel too well. Something's wrong with me. I am ill. Urgh. Everything bad is happening. Alright, let's just get through this war. Get back home so we can stop the adventure from taking the Empire. Hey, the Papacy got high crown authority. That's a good... Good move on his part. Does he have money yet? No. Why aren't you getting any money? Seriously. Twenty-eight thousand troops there. We should be ready for this guy once he shows up.
November 12th is when we have to have everybody merged and, and going. Man, we're losing money fast. Turn off Rhett News for now. May, June. Please be the last one I have to siege, please. Yes, thank you. Take your duchy. Okay, so did I get the duchy or did someone else get the duchy? Seriously, we should be able to usurp now. Someone else got the duchy? Someone else? No, that's Paphlogia. Who got Throcky? Did I, did I destroy it? Oh, Nikea. Excuse me, not Throcky. Nikea. I, I did get Nikea. Sweet. I'm going to go ahead and make it. Cost me 100 gold. It's fine. Because I've wanted that place for a while. Uh, we won. We're going back to uh, going back to town. Uh oh, we our, our 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 army actually grew too big while we've been out over here, so we got to split it up. That's funny. That's it. We'll we'll pick up the other ones later. We're ready for this, uh, we're definitely ready for this guy as soon as he shows up. He's not going to cause us problems. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll employ the Pope, even though he's not the best court chaplain, just because that's funny. Being able to have the Pope as your court chaplain, it's awesome. Move him up there, and fix that Lollard heresy up there, hopefully. Okay. Excellent. This is going to be a very quick adventure war. Either I'm going to lose or I'm going to win. Basically instantly. Marriage to matrilineal. No one useful. Everyone's related to me or already my courtier. So, I guess it's regular marriage for you. Count of Sinar. Go for it. I'm not sick anymore, unfortunately. We can go pick up the rest of our army over here, at least. Don't want to leave them stranded. Ooh, we actually have enough in Constantinople that we're we are having attrition. That's amazing. That's amazing. Uh, September, October, November. We don't want to, we don't want them taking two months worth of attrition, so we'll move one of these guys off and then back on. Hopefully, we can time it just right, and that'll be funny. Merge and boat. Merge and boat. Merge and boat. Take them over here. Drop them off. Educate some child somewhere for some reason. Uh, Lombards. Come on, Lombards. There you are. Okay. Okay. A lot of people getting um, converted. We're in October. November's next. If he marches, he'll get there on the 19th. That That's actually a little late, but it'll, it'll be okay. We don't have to be right on time. Here it comes, November 12th. Let's see how big of an army he gets. Boom, there's his army. That's a pretty big army. <laughs> Call allies. Make sure everyone's ready. Got our best generals on this one. Gonna have our second best generals on this one. And we're gonna see how we do in the next episode. So come back for that one. Should be a subscribe button somewhere on your screen. Feel free to click that if you're interested in seeing more. Um, thank you for watching, and remember, keep it clean.